Good morning, this is Wayne Bilal with another Smart Profit Maximizer Moment. And here's Tessie. It's Monday. Um, <laughs> got one week left if you got, haven't filed your corporate tax return for 2018 to be on time. Assuming you filed an extension. So let's not forget that. Um, yeah. Oh, we're tired here. Monday morning, we're all tired. Here. There you go, girl. Those treats are like, must be like crack cocaine for these guys. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, my name is Wayne Blal. I'm the founder of a local CPA firm in El Paso, Texas. Uh, it's our 28th anniversary. We just passed it in August, so we're on our 29th year. Amazing, really amazing. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, actually, been helping CPAs, help, helping small business owners a lot longer than that. Um, let me get back where I'm supposed to be. Um, since mid 70s, passed the CPA exam in 1977. Um, worked almost all that time with small business owners helping them make more money, which is the, one of the three things we focus on. Help our business owners make more money by, these profit maximizing moments are important. A um, lot of good information in these, and they're all saved on my blog and all saved in this Facebook group. Um, this Facebook group's a good place for you to, to ask me a question. I do pay attention to it, all right? Um, and we keep it on, uh, uh, on our blog, just go to wjb-cpa.com, wjb-cpa.com, left-hand corner, there's a second tab to the left, from the left, it says blog, click on that, sign up for it, so you get it whenever I post these videos there, in case you don't catch them live. Hey, um, second thing we do is tax planning, we've saved our clients over $4.3 million in the last three years alone, we're getting really moving right into tax planning time. And of course, the last thing we do is tax returns. Well, we do more than this, okay. But the third thing we focus on is tax returns. Um, we, well, like I said, we do between six and 700 returns. And the due date for corporation extension for 2018 is literally next Monday, a week from today. Individuals, you got a little bit more time, October 15th. Uh, let's talk, today I wanna to talk about a misconception that the best way to get more customers is discounting. Yeah, it might be the best way to make more customers, but you're not in the business of selling. Selling? Selling? <laughs> you're not in the business of making a sale. I mean, you need to make a sale, don't get me wrong, but your business is to make a profit. That's why these are called profit moments, not sales moments, <laughs> okay? The goal is to make a profitable sale, all right? Let's talk about discounting. You know, the big boxes come in, a competitor comes in, a natural reaction is cut your prices by 10%. And I put a little chart together and I'm going to say, if your profit margin is 40%, let's in English say sales minus cost of goods sold and labor leaves you 40% to pay everything else. If you discount your price by 10%, you need to add 33% more customers. So if you have 300 customers in an average month, you need to have 400 to break even. It's not to make a profit, it's to break even, okay? And that's kind of misleading because you're adding a third more customers. That means you're all going to work a third harder. You're going to you're probably going to spend a little bit more money. Might have to do overtime. Might have to do God knows what to get it all done. And at the end of the day, you broke even. <laughs> okay, um, fifty percent margin. What 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 happens? A fifty percent margin, twenty five percent. You need to have a twenty five percent increase in customers. All right. So it's really doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to, to do that. I mean, unless, unless it's short term and unless you have a plan, you discount because you're gonna upsell, right? If, if uh, you cut your price by 20% and a 40% margin, you need a 100% increase in sales to break even. And that's assuming you can keep all your other costs the same, which are highly unlikely, all right? Um, what does that mean? That means be careful before you discount, all right? And make sure if you're gonna put an item on sale that you've trained your staff to be sure that they know how to upsell and cross sell. You can make up for that loss in sales if you're, let's say you're putting, well, let's take my favorite client, BK, and they're putting a lift chair on sale, all right, by 10%. Well, if they're adding a warranty plan, if they're adding their white glove service, if they're adding um, all the extras that go with it, or they turn around and cross sell them into, hey, if somebody who needs this also probably needs, they have trouble getting out of bed, maybe they need some of that over there. 
that makes up for the 10%. But just doing the 10% in order to, off, to, to match competition or to increase sales, yeah, you might increase sales, but you're going to hurt your profit. Let's talk about the other side of the coin while we're at it. I tell people to raise their prices. And they're like, huh, oh, I can't raise my prices. Um, but does it really hurt you? Well, for that one, let's wait till tomorrow and let's talk about the effect of price increases. Hey, for today, be careful before you discount. If you are going to put something on discount, make sure you have a plan to upsell and cross sell. And until tomorrow, when we talk about the effect of price increases and why you shouldn't be afraid of them. All right, be careful. Come back for tomorrow. Um, you shouldn't be afraid of price increases. Until then, let's make this our most profitable year ever. Thank you very much.